had a conversation that went south. Mm. I, I used to have a lot of conversations like that, but then I talked to Al a couple times. He straightened me out on that sort of thing. Mm. That's why I appreciate his, his knowledge and wisdom. Some people kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but they uh, they would say things to the booker that they probably shouldn't have said. Mm -hmm. But in my case, I just want to clarify, like, I was never actually led on stage. I was promised a spot by you, Al, one time, but it didn't, it didn't happen. Uh, I think the reason was I arrived too late. Did you show up late? I think I. Oh, I that sounds like sounds so like that's the reason why. Yeah. yeah. You get here late, you yeah, don't Sean get on. Sean Dizzle runs the Chicano Kings of Comedy. He started out with the Big Al's Big Ass Comedy Show, and he'll tell you straight up. I mean, you come late. You I come late, you don't get on. I'm easy, I'm easy to get along with, but I'm also got a lot of strict rules, rules. because I've been doing comedy for seven years, and I've been working in this business for a little over longer than that. And uh, I've worked with some of the biggest names in comedy, and I've been busting my ass as a comic from, from day one, from the brainwash to the punchline. And here we are with our first, uh, first flu bowling show here at the uh, Sacramento Punchline. And, uh, you know, I'm an easy dude, but just don't, just don't fuck me. This man's the reason this show is on tonight. He does this every month. I mean, it's a wonderful showcase. Thank you guys for having us. I want you to give it up for the very funny Big Al Gonzalez. Come on! That's all I got left in time to come back. Speaking of three brain cells, you need three things in this business. You need to be A, funny. Okay, that's one thing. Or B, you need to be able to put butts in seats. Okay, that's the other thing, butts and seats. Or C, fucking somebody who's doing the other two. <laughs> so. Lower. 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 Oh, yeah. Ma'am, is that a fuse? <laughs> Sure, it's a candy bar. It's somebody's candy bar. It's a cinnamon stick. We're hanging out here with uh, Chris Vahe and Hovac Shmikazi. Yes. That can be edited to make right. <laughs> We're at the Sacramento Punchline right here for the premiere of the Big Al's Big Ass Comedy Show uh, with Chad Bradley, uh, one of our uh, our favorites. How do? Uh, I met him, uh, actually I met him in Hunter's Point. <laughs> My first time wearing this suit for a comedy show. And it's working out, although I, I lost a button. Yeah. I'm G'd up from the feet up. Cool. You got beautiful before our eyes. Check that out. <laughs> you gotta do it like my. Sexy my... bitch. Sexy bitch. This is classic. <laughs> oh, you know what you need to do? What? Is right Could here, the crease where your, where, your, where your hat was at. Yeah. Okay? You need to pull that forward, puff it out, and then and then let it let it. Even out with your hair. Jesus God. <laughs> That's like my arch nemesis right there. <laughs> I'll get you, Big Al. <laughs> I did a show at the improv that I drank like five Red Bulls in one night. Just because I was getting this shit for free and I don't drink liquor. So that was my thing. You know what the great thing about this interview is? He has nothing to do with it. <laughs> he asks the questions and he totally takes it off the track and uh, and that's what makes this whole thing great. Yeah. So do you hand select all these comics that are performing tonight? Yeah, I walk through a field and uh, I wait till the funny is uh, is, is showing and uh, right. It, it's totally right. It has to be juicy. <laughs> we do this every every month. Uh, we've been doing it for two years and now we're here in Sacramento. And thank you so much for coming. It's a packed show. Thank you guys so much, man. Thank you for coming. I hope we get to come back and thank you guys because you guys made it happen for us tonight. How you doing, brother? Good to see you right there. You got a, he's got a white girl. Yes, you can, brother. Right on. Oh. Obama said fucking achieve, change, and hope. And he's dating hope right there, white girl. Who changes his drawers for him. <laughs> Good for you, brother. You can, you can, you can do it. That's the, don't give him no shit, brother. Don't give him no shit. You keep your truck where it is, all right. I just want to say I got this plan. Hey, free, so pops in my truck. Oh, like the fucking fucked up hand. Yeah. Fisting. I wish I had a little arm, man. A little arm? I'm sorry, fisting people like crazy. <laughs> is that? This is a sick guy. <laughs>
<laughs> it's a good show. We've been doing this show for what two, three years, a little over two years, and uh, we've been we started in the San Jose Improv, and this is our first one at the Punchline, and uh, we get anywhere between 250 and sold out at the Improv. <laughs> <laughs> That's Derek. Yeah, we have multi-camera setups. Like, what's going on? Smart. Vancouver's film school, huh? Yeah. Do you go Canon every now and then? Um, no. I, I'm nobody. That's all I gotta say. I'm nobody when it comes to nothing. Whatever he said. That's actually right. what he told me when I first met him. That I'm nobody. I'm nobody. I mean, <sighs> hardly. For someone like me who's trying to get on shows like this, and he's doing not nobody. And I'm Chris Gemma, the fucking cast thing.